Hello from SlideNode and hello from Waves. What's up folks? In this bit I'm going to talk about string program where you ask the user to enter the number, the user enters 343 and you simply say you entered 343. As you guys can see we are converting the letters to words and that's what we are going to do in this bit. So the output looks like this, pretty simple. So what are the different steps in doing this? The first step is that you get each digit that is 3, 4, 3 separately. Separate them right? And then in the second step you simply do this. If digit is 1 then print 1, digit is 2, print 2 and so on and so forth right? So let's go ahead and see how we are gonna use the string class methods to separate the digits. Now if you guys remember there are many ways of doing this. I'm gonna talk about one of the ways. So if you talk about the number 343, three, convert that to a string that is 343 three with double quotes, right? And then you know the length is 3 and you can use the caret method that gives you 3 and simply you can say caret 1, caret 2, right? And now whatever char you get as the character, you can compare that with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0, right? And then you can print the string by saying caret i. You can use a for loop by saying for i is 0, i less than length, i plus plus, char c, caret i. And then you can compare if c equals 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 right that's exactly the simplest way to do the program you guys may have other methods to do this feel free to explore or if you find a better way you can also ping me on comment me and let me know about that so let's actually jump it on that beans and see how this program works so here in that beans i have nothing but an empty project with string test and inside this they have a main function in which i have written nothing so first let's actually take our number which is going to be string say number equals 343. Three. So now as I said we need to find the length of this number. I'm gonna use a, a variable called int length and I'll say number dot length right. So now that I have the length let's just figure out the part of uh, finding one character first. If I say char c equals let's just take some value for here for now. I'll say char c equals to 3. Let me use a simple if else statement to check which character we are having. I'm gonna say if c equals equals 1 then do something right. Else if c equals equals 2. Now I can also use a switch but I'm going for an if right now. So I'm gonna copy paste this like 10 times. So at this point what we have is we have our string number is 343. Three. We have taken the length of that string inside this variable called length. There's a char c which I've taken just for testing stuff and showing you what happens. And then we have this nice if else block over here right. Now inside this if else statements what I'm gonna simply do is I'm gonna simply print system dot out dot print ln I'll simply say 1 right. I'm gonna copy paste this for every other uh, number which you see over here. So let me go ahead and do that. So now at this point as you guys can see there's my string 343, there's my length variable, there's my char c and now I have my complete if else statement. Now if the c character c is 1 then this system.out.println will run and 1 will be printed out. If it c is 4 then this will run and 4 will be printed out and so on right. So now let me actually go ahead and compare our actual string here by saying uh, 4 I'm going to use a for loop because I need to compare each character inside the string, right? And that is that there are three characters, so we need to do it three times. So I'm going to say int i equals to 0, i less than length, i plus plus. For each character, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say char c equals to our number dot char at i, right? Now this is going to give me first this three character at 0, then it's going to be character at 1, that is 4. And then it's going to give me character at 2 that is 3 again right. So now for this character C I'm going to do this comparison. So I'll take this entire if else and cut paste it inside the for loop. And I'm going to press alt shift F to organize everything. So now things look perfectly fine. Let me actually go ahead and run this by saying control S shift F6. So as you guys can see it says 343. Three. So before that let's print another statement over here by saying this will look good. We'll say you entered bam. So now if you have a number like say 1200 and 2546 something like that a big number control s shift f6 as you guys can see it says you entered one you entered two okay the for loop we need to have this system dot dot print and outside the for loop because it's getting printed that many times so i'm gonna remove this put it out over here again control s shift f6 you entered one two five four six so that's working perfectly so i hope you guys have understood something out of this vid if you like what you saw Please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.